Hi, it's Dr. Derek Strachan with Divine Spine Chiropractic again. Welcome to this week's health tip. This week's health tip, there's two things I want to bring to your attention. One is I want to share with you the top 10 drug prescriptions in America right now, or in 2009, the top 10. And I also want to just talk to you about, talk to you about um, infertility. There is hope out there for people who are struggling to have children. And according to Fox News Station, infertility affects more than 6 million women and their partners in the United States, and many resort to drug-based attempt to try to resolve the problem. While a recent study found that 14 or 15 women were able to conceive after becoming chiropractic patients. And this is something we've noticed in our practice, is women who are struggling to become pregnant have been able to become pregnant after being under chiropractic care for some time. You know, the purpose is to improve organ function and glandular function. That's one of the um, positive effects that chiropractic has because we're working with the spine and your nervous system, which is, you know, the master controlling system of your body. So we're not surprised to see women, you know, being able to have children after, you know, working, you know, through chiropractic methods. But that's something you may or may not have been aware of. So if you know of anybody in that category, you definitely want to let them know that a chiropractor may be able to help them. The other thing I want to share with you that's really interesting is the top 10 most popular prescribed drugs in America. So in 2009, according to Forbes magazine, and in, in also in May uh, 2010, they redid the study, and they found that the number one prescribed drug was hydrocodone, or acetaminophen. It's, over, it's a painkiller, and there's over 128 million prescriptions a year. The second was Simvastatin, it's a high cholesterol drug, it's over 80 million prescriptions. The next was Lisinopril, which is a high blood, pressure, high blood pressure medication, over 80 million prescriptions. The next is Levo or Levothyroxine sodium, it's for thyroid disorders, over 65 million prescriptions a year. And then the next, number five, is Anzothyromycin. Thyro <laughs> Anzithromycin, they're hard words to say as you know, it's an antibiotic, um, over 53 million prescriptions. And the next is metformin, it's a diabetic drug, over 52 million. The next is Lipitor, we've probably heard that one before, it's a high cholesterol drug and over 51 million prescriptions a year. Number eight is amlodipine, it's a high blood pressure drug, over 50 million prescriptions. Number nine is amoxicillin often give to children as an antibiotic for ear infections, um, 49 million prescriptions. And number 10 is hydrochlorothiazide. It's a high blood pressure med and over 47 million prescriptions. So we, according to this, consume or just prescribe six, over 650 million drugs a year in America. That's more than two drugs prescribed per child, woman, and man in our country. That is a lot of drug passing that's going on. And so a lot of us don't take drugs, which means a lot of us are taking more than two prescriptions. And so what does that really add up to? You would think, you know, it would mean higher levels of health. Well, our country ranks number 37th out of all westernized nations in our health ranking. 37. And yet we're still prescribing over 650 million drugs and it's estimated two trillion dollars a year or more is being spent on health care. So what's not adding up is that people are being either misled or being misinformed in some way that you know the health does not come in a pill. It comes from within our bodies and there's a part of the body that you know again coordinates all function and that's our nervous system. So we have the ability to change our health by changing how we eat and we move and we think. Chiropractic plays an important role in the movement factor as well as stimulating healthy production of glands, hormones, um, also organ function and all the muscles and everything else involved. So if you're not you know, seeing a chiropractor, please, please, please you know, do, the, do so. It's one of the healthiest things that you can do for yourself and for your family. So that's this week's health tip. And I look forward to being with you again next week for the health tip that's coming up. Um, if you have ever have any questions, please do give us a call here at the office. The number is attached to our website. Looking forward to the next time. Make it a great day. Bye-bye.